What up, YouTube? It's Kurt here. So today we're going to take a look at the Rank 10 Trains profile that I won a regional at uh, at the WCQs this past weekend. And I'm really excited because uh, now I don't I don't have to worry about being competitive in Yu-Gi-Oh for a year until the next uh, until the next Nationals. And I'm yeah, that's a big relief off my shoulders. And I only played one flight and I won that flight and it, it felt really good. And, and as far as how competitive it was, it wasn't uh, probably as competitive as well, it wasn't as competitive as the main events. Uh, I there was a lot of competition. I tried the LCQs and I didn't. I didn't manage to win an LCQ, so I did three of those and I did okay, but I didn't win. Uh, that's the thing you have to win these tournaments in order to get in. Uh, so I managed to win four rounds in a row with uh, with this deck, and I got these nice little. <laughs> I got the mat and I got the box, and that was really fun and everything. Um, but yeah, I just I played the best that I could. There were a couple misplays that I did, but I don't want to talk too long about that. I'll talk about that afterwards. Uh, but we'll just get right into the deck profile here. Again, it, and it did work against meta. Uh, two decks were meta. The last two rounds I played Salamangre and uh, Danger. Uh, I mean, yeah, Danger Thunder. Those were my last two rounds, and one of the guys had the prize card. And yeah, the Danger Thunder player had the prize card, and I I, I pulled it off. It was really nice. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just get to it here. All right, so we're playing one bullet train, uh, mostly because this is really bricky. Uh, but we just played one bullet train. But it's nice when you urge in it and you can get back the... You can get back a stampede. That's really nice. Uh, three dare crane. That's uh, pretty necessary, in my opinion. Uh, one cyberstein. Uh, and cyberstein is just mostly for cheese. Uh, but Cyberstein can get you a Super Beacroid, but we'll go over to the Cyberstein targets later, but they actually are relevant. Uh, three, Stampede. This is probably... Uh, Derek Rain's a good card, but this is, might be the best card in the train deck. Um, that's a monster. Uh, then one Ruffian. Uh, not that great of a card in general, but uh, it's mostly for the urgent plays, and yeah, we play Pot of Desires, so it's nice to have another four in there, so we still have targets. Uh, this is... I mean, it's a great card, but also really bricky. You don't want to draw it with other things. So we're playing uh, two Express Knight. Uh, this actually came in clutch during one match in the L when I did LCQs. It prevents targeting. Uh, it's just it's like an extra called. If you could play four called, you would need it. Uh, but Saravis just has nice utility on that aspect. Uh, so <laughs> don't judge me. All right, it's one Lancia. I was just messing around with the hand traps. At, at the last minute, I changed something, and I was like, oh, I'll just throw a Lancia in, in here uh, because I was changing around the hand traps. And I, I, it was just an awkward thing, but it actually came came in handy pr pretty well. And I, uh, I probably should have had something else like uh, maybe an ogre. It's just this deck's in an awkward position with hand traps because you want them to have monsters for urgent schedule, but you don't want them to. Yeah, you want to slow them down, but not make them brick. Uh, one ash blossom. I ended up going with one ash blossom. Yeah, just be. I mean, it does its thing, but. Uh, it's again. It sucks to double draw, and I do not want to double draw that at all. Uh, so I did three Valor. Uh, again, we like monsters on board. We just don't like uh, too many monsters, and we don't want a big board. So we did three Valor. Also, I uh, right after the tournament, I sold my impermanence because I wasn't going to worry about the impermanence for an entire year. Uh, the price will probably go down. Um, either go down, or there'll be a reprint. Something like that. Either way, in a year, a year from now, I probably won't lose my money on those impermanents. So we played three Valor and three impermanents, and those came in really, yeah, really good handy for the most part. Um, against Danger Thunder, I didn't really draw. Well, I drew the impermanents. The impermanents straight up won me a game uh, against the Thunder Dragon. Um, it won me the first game, and I'll explain that later. All right, so we main three Red Reboot, and that's just mostly a meta call. We hate hate back grow. And uh, the the cost of Twin Twisters, it kind of hurts in this deck a, a lot of the time. Uh, so we did three Red Reboot. Uh, yeah. Tri I mean, great against the Orcus matchup and great against the Salaman great matchup. And weird versions that display Solemn Strike or try to scythe you. That Yeah, really degenerate plays like that. All right, so three Desires. Again, card advantage. Uh, there's not many ways to generate card advantage. So we just... We said fuck it and played three, and that, in my opinion, it was the right call. Two terraforming, necessary. All right, so yes, we're blinding second and we're playing Mystic Mind. This is how I beat the Thunder Dragon player, um, and this is how I won. 
Uh, well, it, this doesn't win you every game, of course. There, it's easily removed. It's easily removed, and sometimes, like the utility that it gives you, it's not, it's not to stall. It's literally to turn off monster effects. Um, so, weirdly enough, I played Medulce, and this was the, yeah, Medulce made me go first, and this is how I slow them down. And yeah, they slowed me down, and I was able to grind out that game. So, uh, Mystic Mine is really really good and so then we have the best spell card for machines we have urgent schedule yeah i'm sorry if i'm holding this uh holding this camera a little bit weird but i'm just in an awkward position right now all right three urgent schedule two machines from deck and you can make so many plays off of that three switch yard i decided to play three it's just like you always want to get a rank 10 somewhere in there and then of course uh because we're playing a mine and we can play other field spells uh, we have set rotation. Set rotation just comes in clutch, beats mind burn. If you resolve this against mind burn, you win the game. That's also really nice. But uh, it has other nice uh, utility functions. Be the best deck to play Monster Reborn in. So you can make ridiculous plays. Get a uh, stampede and grave off of urgent schedule. You get it back. You get two free summons off of this. It is absolutely insane. That's the one twister. One twister. I have a couple on side, but uh, that's just more back row. Uh, three calls. Oh, just necessary. This deck wants to call by the grave. All that hand trap bull crap. You you play three. All right. So extra deck. All right. So we're gonna go. These two are the cyber sign targets. So, and like I th I'm thinking about cutting them. I think I'm thinking about cu cutting cyber sign. But honestly, cyber sign it's just fun when you see it. Uh, but anyway, super via croid level ten earth machine. You can chain Dara crane off that. Uh, last warrior from another planet. If, if your opponent, a lot of people will make you go first, and against against some decks, this is an automatic win condition. Um, against yeah, against Salamangrate, and if they don't have impermanence, this can be a win condition. But against Thunder Dragons, this is a win condition against Thunder Dragons. That's what's so valuable about about this card. It's, that is insane. Um, then we got Mud Dragon. This is a super poly target. Uh, super poly target. Starving Venom. This is this is another reason I beat the Thunder Dragon player. Game two, I sided in Super Polys uh, and got that guy. Uh, one of these sometimes comes comes. This is a, this is really good against the Orcus to matchup uh, because a lot of times you can bait a Fog Blade, then destroy the other one with Dara Crane, and then you just attack them for game. Uh, really good. Uh, two Gustav Max. Sometimes that burn damage really comes in handy. So we have two. Uh, and those cards let you rank up a Dalib, a play two. Sometimes you need, uh, you really need that second one. And six can you can make a 6,000 beater and just be insane. Uh, one misses, lets you add back. Uh, sometimes as utility, not that much utility. Uh, didn't really come up very much. Uh, but Cleefort, ooh, Cleefort is so good. A lot of times, so with Cleefort, if you have Mystic Mine up, a lot of times uh, in order to OTK, you can target your own Mystic Mine and target um, just one, yeah, target something else, anything else the opponent controls, and or you know Cleefort does. It's just amazing, amazing utility. Turn off Mystic Mine OTK. It's it's pretty spicy, uh, but you have to control the same amount of monsters. Pentastag didn't come up today, but uh, still still very very good. Um, Abyss Dweller, I can make it. I was going to try to make it against. Uh, if I could make it against Salamangre, I w would have, but it was just an awkward position to where I, I just didn't have the draw. And Mega Fleet. Mega Fleet's just here. You can run a Cyber Engine in this deck and have it work very well. It's a level 10, and you can XC summon off of it. That's important to know. But uh, yeah, my deck just hard loses to Cyber Dragon unless I, unless I put in Mega Fleet. If I put in Mega Fleet, my chances of winning uh, the Cyber Dragon matchup are a lot better. All right, so here, three sphere modes. That's mostly for the pendulum matchup. Uh, t the other two Lancia. There they are. Again, in the main deck, I might replace the main deck Lancia with a uh, Ghost Ogre or something like that. Um, let's see. There's, oh, there's one Super Poly. There should be another Super Poly in here. All right. So, yeah, my Super Poly. My other Super Poly is somewhere else. So forgive me for that. Yeah, my other Super Poly just. Uh, there there are two super poly i can guarantee you that all right and then three droll and lockbird 
that's also yeah super poly insane three droll and lockbird uh this is for like avram the mech knight avram uh, in case that comes up, sometimes this is my only out. This is searchable, also by urgent schedule if it gets destroyed. Um, also for the uh, yeah the matchup of Sky Strikers because I'm not built well. And again, against the Sky Strikers, you side out your Mystic Mind, you put these in. Uh, Black Garden gives you no TK, so instead of doing the burn damage uh, against Sky Striker, you uh, with uh, yeah, Gustav Max, you just put Black Garden, you skip Gustav Max effect, you go into Juggernaut Lieb, Lieb effect activates, you get back up to 4,000, and then you can, then you have three attacks, and your attacks damage after that point are 32, plus 32, plus 32. That's a OTK against uh, Sky Strikers, but I didn't play them in the four rounds. Uh, there was Necro Valley, Necro Valley good against Sky Striker, good against Salamangre, good against... And depending on your hand, it can be good against Orcus, but, um, well, it's good against the entire meta right now, let's put it that way. And two twin. Two twin Twister. Alright, so that, that wraps it up. Uh, as far as the matchups, uh, weirdly enough, like, in the regional, I did play a Medulce player, uh, but I won't even talk about that. I played a true Draco player, I just happened to have enough back row to deal with him. If you deal with their back row, you can win the game. Uh, I played against a Salamangrate player. Now, here's when it's interesting. I didn't think... That was third round. In the third round, I played Salamangrate player. Um, he... I feel like he wasn't terrible, but he wasn't maybe the best Salamangrate player I've ever run into. Uh, so, he made me go first, which isn't a bad move against trains. But then I... I fl I, I sided in Necro Valley for going first uh, in game two. And after... He pretty much bricks a game one, but then he... Made made me go, and then he, yeah, I put a Necro Valley, and that just rattled him. He didn't know how to work around that whatsoever. That's the thing about Rogue decks; you can just really rattle your opponent if they haven't seen your strategy before. So I played Necro Valley, and I ended up sque squeezing out the game. It's one of those matches that uh, he, well, he honestly played so slowly that it frustrated me. And that when I get frustrated, that's when I start to misplay, and that's one thing I need to get better at. But then. Uh, the final match, the prize card player, like, he knew what he was doing for the most part, but he was only able to end on a hot red Colossus, uh, then, uh, yeah. He was only able to end on hot red Colossus and, I believe, uh, Heretic Sphere. Uh, so I baited, yeah, I opened in permanence and set rotation, that was the only play I had. Uh, and, yeah, he didn't have any back row in main deck, I won that game. That was just the way it was. Game two... I sided in everything. Obviously, I have Drolls, I have Super Polys, and I have Sphere Modes. And if I have all of those, it's going to work out pretty well, in case you haven't noticed that. And so, yeah, I, I, I Sphere Moded him uh, during my turn, and then after he got Sphere Moded, he tried to recover from that. Um, well, I, I Sphere Moded, and I set a Super Poly. Uh, then he tried to bring out... Yeah, more monsters than that. And I just had the OTK in hand after that. So, and during, yeah, during his turn, then I super polyed him in a Starving Venom. And he just, uh, even after that, he was able to end on Zombie Stein in one danger. But he didn't, Zombie Stein requires a discard. So even after that, like, I, I still had the OTK in hand. So then I just put up my board and I, I killed him after that. So it was, uh... It was wild, guys. I, I was really happy about it. Um, there's Again, there's only a couple things. I might take out the Cyberstein and re replace it with something. But really, I wouldn't change very much about the deck. So hopefully you enjoy guys enjoyed this profile. Uh, uh, again, if you like this video, give me suggestions and other stuff like that. But uh, I appreciate it, guys. Peace.